bride. Mother. Thank you. Please be seated. And please refrain from photography during the uh, ceremony. Dear family, friends, loved ones, welcome to this day of celebration. It's great to have all of you here to witness the union of Cassie and Taylor as wife and husband. Together we are going to sh share in the joys of their wedding both with the outward celebration today on this occasion and with an internal appreciation for the love that surrounds us. Cassie and Taylor, you two have the opportunity to build an amazing life together. You are blessed to share this experience with the loved ones gathered here to support you as you embark on this journey together. May you all remember and cherish this ceremony, for on this day, with love, we will forever bind Cassie and Taylor together. And now I'd like to invite Cassie's godfather, Wayne, to come up and give a reading from the Bible. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Amen. Thank you, Wayne. Cassie, Taylor, marriage is more than just a simple exchanging of rings or a combining of material assets. Rather, it is an indescribably powerful shared commitment. While today I will bind you together, the truly important bonds that we form today are largely invisible to the world, existing primarily in the unfilled corners of your heart. Marriage is one of life's greatest gifts, and it's a blessing to make these promises with your soulmate. As you hold on to one another, you will find deeper levels of joy, happiness, and peace together. Your marriage is the foundation upon which you will build the rest of your lives, and despite any adversity, will always be there to sustain you. Cassie and Taylor, take a moment to sense the tremendous amount of love radiating throughout this space. Here we go. As you stand here today, before God, before those who are gathered here in your honor, and before one another, take note that after you speak your vows, your lives will never be the same. Marriage, regardless of any preconceived notions that you have, has the capacity to deepen and challenge and strengthen you and your relationship in ways that you never thought possible. The joy you'll find as you pursue your shared lives will fuel you as you face head on the challenges that you will encounter on this earth. On our journeys together, keep your spouse in the space of highest priority in your heart. Learn to work together, to laugh together, to love together. Don't get caught up in worldly things that will draw you apart, but instead, focus on your shared devotion and look inward. As your relationship deepens and strengthens, you will find that you come to share a remarkable love, one that is both abundantly given and freely accepted. As we celebrate this bond of unity today in the presence of God, it's important that we keep in mind that while this is certainly an occasion of tremendous joy, the promises we witness here today are serious and life-altering commitments. As Jesus said, have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then, 
they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. It is with simultaneous feelings of elation and expressions of respect that we proceed. Cassie and Taylor, I would now invite you to publicly speak your vows and your commitment to your partner. Cassie, would you like to begin? Well, babe, who would have thought that I would be standing here with the tall, goofy guy I met at the beach seven years ago, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Now the day goes by that I don't realize how important you are to me. You're intelligent, kind, and constantly putting a smile on my face. You have taught me many things, helping me see different perspectives, which only helps myself as, our, as well as our relationship grow stronger. You have taught me patience and have helped me to learn not to take life so serious sometimes. You are my biggest supporter and my best friend. I am so excited to continue to grow and learn with you. I promise to always be there for you for your good days and bad. I promise to always be there with a hug when you need one. I promise to support you, especially during every stressful Capitals playoff season. And I promise to always try your new recipes. I promise to never stop sending you a ton of pictures of our fur babies while you're at work. And I promise to always be down to eat Mexican food with you. I promise to never go too long without watching a sunset with you. And I promise to be true to you, to uplift and encourage you. I promise to climb every lighthouse we can and to fight any challenge we may face together. But most importantly, from the words from our favorite romantic, Ted Mosby, from our favorite show, in the end, all we can do is promise to love each other with everything we've got, because love is the best thing we do. Thank you, Kathy. And now, Taylor, it's your turn, please. That was good. <laughs> I like to remember our first date. If you couldn't tell, I liked you a lot. So much that I agreed to go meet your family. All I knew going into that date was that you had an older brother, a father that was a firefighter, and I was showing up to this new girl's house in the junkiest, most beat up car imaginable. I'm sure I made a good first impression. We then went to a pond near your house where I managed to lose one of your brother's fishing rods to a very hungry turtle. Another good impression, I'm sure. But instead of reacting in anger or questioning why you were on a dock with a clumsy boy, you smiled and laughed. And it was right there where I fell in love with your smile. Right there, oh crap. Right there where I fell in love with your laugh. A lot of couples say they know the moment they fell in love with their spouse, not with me. Because there isn't one moment that made me fall for you. It was every moment. Every road trip we've taken, every dance we've danced, every weird song you'd sing about our pets, every fake argument we have with a Boston accent, and now today seeing you walk down the aisle. I'm in love with you because of every moment I've spent with you, and I can't wait to spend every moment of the rest of my life with you. I vow to ensure you come home to a warm meal and a warm embrace after a long day's work. I vow to support your love for Judge Judy, Judge Alex, and Judge Mathis. I vow to keep my cool and not get angry when the Caps lose in the second round again. I vow to tuck you in every night. I vow to support you when you need it most, just like you support me. I vow to love you, comfort you, and keep you in sickness and in health until my dying day. And I vow to fall in love with every moment from this moment until forever. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Cassie, Taylor, please join hands. Cassie, do you take Taylor to live together in the union of marriage, to take him as your best friend and partner in life, to honor, cherish, and love him from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, for all of your days? Taylor, do you take Cassie to live together in the union of marriage, to take her as your best friend and partner in life, to honor, cherish, and love her from this day forward, for better, for worse, 
for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health for all of your days. Having this love in your hearts, you've chosen to seal your vows by exchanging rings. The wedding ring's circular shape reflects the unending power of love, a force with no beginning and no end. You should wear these rings proudly and let them remind you each day of your commitment to one another. Okay? Please repeat after me. Cassie, I give you, Taylor, this ring. Okay. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I commit the whole of my heart and soul to you. I commit my whole heart and soul oh, to my you. Heart and soul to you. <laughs> I promise to cherish you for the rest of my days. I promise to cherish you for the rest of my days. I give you all that I am. I give you all that I am. And accept all that you are. And accept all that you are. I, Taylor, give you Cassie this ring. As a symbol of my love. As I place it on your finger. I commit the whole of my heart and soul to you. I promise to cherish you for the rest of my days. I promise to cherish you for the rest of my days. I give you all that I am. I accept all that you are. And dear friends, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and the State of Maryland, I am pleased to pronounce Cassie and Taylor as wife and husband sealed together today, both in law and in love. Taylor, you may kiss your bride. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Taylor and Cassie Donahue.